हेलो फ्रेंड्स यू आर वाचिंग एंग्लो डिक टू यू आर विद प्रणेश मिश्रा टुडे क्लास टेन स्टूडेंट्स वी विल डिस्कस फर्स्ट फ्लाइट्स चैप्टर वन दैट इज अ लेटर टू गॉड एंड देन सेकंड वन चैप्टर टू नेल्सन मंडेला लॉन्ग वॉक टू फ्रीडम यू कैन सी दैट आई हैव रिटर्न सिक्स स्टेप्स आई हैव रिटर्न सिक्स स्टेप्स here that is a b c d e f that i always tell to my student this is the diagram of a plot of the story whenever you see in the examination the questions are asked from the same diagram as our life moves like that a story moves when we start what is the starting point of a story get to the point please what's the starting point of the story what's the turning point in the story what's the rising action in the story means a struggle in the story what's the climax in the story what's the anti climax towards solution in the story and then what's the end of the story if you are the question settler my dear student then in that case you will also ask question from beginning from turning point from the struggle from the climax from the anti climax and the end because these are the points in anyone's life especially this is applicable for prose where action is made and reaction is received that's why always you will see in the examination that questions arises from there so in other way we can say that this is the skeleton of the story this is the movement of the plot this is a stream of consciousness if you understand it once what was the starting as we are taking a letter to god as first story so what happened at first what was the turning point in the story means uh, the life of lencho what was the struggle going to post office and then uh, waiting for money and other thing and then what is the climax of the story where you feel that what will happen now will that situation you know when uh, lencho will get money or not uh, what will happen and then then collection of money this area shows collection of money that money is collected by the postmaster and then money is given to 70 pesos is given to lencho so this diagram is always helpful for all the stories now let us go back to the textual analysis of the story first of all we need to know what happened in the story so before we start lencho when you will go through this story a letter to god then uh, you will see some facts like uh, lencho where is lencho living where is lencho living lencho is living on a tree falls such type of place from where he can see his fields and crops these are the crops and from here lencho and family living and from here lencho can see his crops the harvest lencho is very happy lencho is very happy to expect a downpour he was expecting a downpour that uh, downpour was expected for better harvest always it is on general thing for a farmer a farmer require it for his field for his better harvest and to his amazement he saw that it's raining and he took the rain as coins that now he will get yield better crops and then he will be moneyed he will be satisfied but those rain drops were not the rain drops but they were hell and then 
his complete harvest was ruined change into white seat full of hells and lencho was dismayed to see that now what happened that we have three concern here when a man is hopeless then there is chances that he will degrade or there is chances that he will upgrade and most of the time we say oh god same thing happened with lencho lencho was a firm believer and then he expected something from god that god cannot do any bad with him no crisis will be felt by him if god is with him and you will be amazed to go through the text that he writes a letter to god that's why it is a justification of the title the title of the story is a letter to whom to god my god a letter to god let us go forward to see what is the summary of the story main points from the story a letter to god is a story of a farmer that i discussed lencho who has extreme faith in god and this faith is explained everywhere in the story in a realistic manner fens has the writer jl fens has drawn his life sketch a word picture of the faith of a poor and simple farmer faith in god to narrate a person more like lencho here you need more adjectives like hard working honest firm believer etc so whenever you want to describe any noun or pronoun what do you need adjectives lots of adjectives or required adjectives so you can see that i have taken here hard working okay honest firm believer three adjectives so these three adjectives can help you to form more sentences about lencho i am just trying to show you how to make notes how to revise how to imbibe into the chapter and how to take the concept in your brain so that no need to learn question and answer just practice of writing is required what happens in the story next he turned to god for getting some help when his crop was ruined as i told you hell storm was there hell storm was there okay and his crop ruined then when he was dismayed okay then he had looked towards god he wrote a letter to god to complain about this why when i was expecting a downpour when i was expecting good rain and you bestowed me with this hell on sunday mind the time on sunday why sunday is taken why sunday is taken because at the post office no one is there to ask which type of letter is that or anything so on sunday he posted the letter an employee made a fun of him next day on monday or some day when letter was received by an employee of the post office then he laughs when he looks at the address what was the address can you tell me letter to god to god from lencho ridicule him ridicule him when he found the letter addressed to god but postmaster was a serious man and did not take it lightly 
postmaster who postmaster was a serious man he did not take it lightly he was impressed by the extreme faith of the man wished to have the same faith and you know postmaster wished oh god what a faith and he wished that he could be as faithful as lencho or this person what a faith indeed he was able to collect only 70 pieces next i have noted down in the skeleton of the story he was able to collect means where could uh, where would he have collected uh, from the workers there at the post office so postmaster started collection and then he got 70 pieces not 100 when lencho receives it and it uh, it was a letter was written in reply and then money was put in the envelope and it was sent to lencho when lencho receives it and he counts the money it was 70 pieces then he thought that no god might have sent him 100 pieces that he asked but you know he could guess it that oh these people the post office people they have taken 30 pieces so when lencho receives it he calls them a bunch of crooks to whom he calls like that post office persons he called remember this uh, phrase a bunch of crooks before you start this type of discussion you must go through questions also when you go through this context then first keep some questions in your mind that is what did lencho hope for why did lencho say the rain drops were like new coins actually he thought that he will have good harvest and then that's why he said so how did the rain change what were lencho's feeling when the hell stopped who or what did lencho have faith in what did he do so from the height where his house was there he could see a river valleys his uh, field his ripe corn dotted with the flowers and that flowers promised him yielding harvest you know that very soon he is going to have a heavy harvest but what happened to this we expect something good from the sky but we get some time hail and thunderstorm thunderbolt something happened with lencho a downpour is a kind of mild rain that was expected by lencho but what happened actually hell was there which was not held hell another meaning is welcome which was not held by lencho and he was totally ruined he thought that what his children and others they will eat his family will stop so he writes a letter to god for 100 pieces so that he could survive survive for the next yeah and next year in the next uh, season he will again try for his farming and what happened actually god in the form of that headmaster listened him but he could collect that the real god there at the post office could collect 70 pieces only and then it was not believed he was so firm believer lencho was that he is still believing god and saying that god can never cheat me like this so this employees of this post office they are a bunch of crooks bunch of crooks cunning people they are okay another step that is required not much but that is required those are content words content words always help you form sentences and then rem- always keep the story alive in your mind so what content words required from this chapter you know uh, while going through this chapter i i 
could see that you required super okay this is a light evening meal super and then you know uh, you required phrases like a plague a plague of locusts okay plague of locusts so he one expression is left in our discussion is that he is saying that a plague of locusts plague is bunch like word okay so a plague of locusts means locusts means you know insects that uh, they just eat the harvest they they destroy the harvest okay they are responsible for destroying the harvest so when they are coming and they are going okay they are leaving some something but this hell when hell came okay when hell hell ruined everything they they left something but hell destroyed everything you know 100 percent loss was there another word required for you you know solitary solitary lonely you know it but in this context you need to remember it the house was solitary okay solitary house where he was living and then his field and everything all the setting is solitary setting okay solitary lonely setting another word you require or you can say it content word is that oblige oblige means to make morally bone to do something you know and then uh, one more word wrinkling uh, forming lines or folds wrinkling so these words uh, you can say some words are um, you might have not heard so those words you can say content word content word does not mean that, that uh, new words that you absolutely don't know content word is that on which a story stands content words are required absolutely required words okay without which without which you cannot proceed to the story so uh, i started with this diagram and i am going to uh, stop with this diagram that what happened at first we saw that the general setting that lencho lencho is relaxed lencho is happy lencho is hopeful you know again lots of adjective i am taking for describing him lencho is faithful okay um, having faith for for good crops lencho is having good um, faith for um, in god for good crops good harvest and to so that he can survive better for the next year but you know the struggle started when uh, when hell storm came okay that ruined the harvest okay and then he writes the letter he is writing letter to god okay for 100 pieces he is writing a letter and then what is the climax climax in the story what is the climax what will happen what will happen uh, means will he get money will he get money will he be helped by the god and then you know what happened that there is solution solution is given that 70 pesos is sent to him lencho but still he is unhappy and he says that all the employees are a bunch of bunch of tedhe log crooked people okay the employees are a bunch of crooks <laughs> so this is the story after all and uh, i think we have uh, lots of discussion we have taken and then uh, with the help of this discussion you might have come to this conclusion that uh, one innocent farmer who has uh, deep faith in god who writes a letter to god when he was his first crisis was there as hellstorm was there and then um, god directly or indirectly in the form of postmaster helped him also 
and uh, but he got uh, 70 pesos 30 pesos less and then he uh, one humor is added by the writer okay you know gl gl f u e n t e n s t will be silent there so you will read it fence fence gl fence so gl fence has given a very realistic uh, very realistic picture of a farmer's life okay how he's working hard in solitude you know he has nothing to do with this mode crust modern society where all the crooks are there uh, they, you know, those who are mode crust people and then worldly people mundane people okay just the cunning people uh, you know so he is out of this his life is uh, very simple and then full fat is having uh, in God and then uh, a farmer as you see in our country also an innocent farmer it's nothing new you might have observed it so dear friend uh, let us uh, go to the question you can answer these simple questions I think now what did Lencho hope for what was his hope and answer is what do you expect yes yes you are right Lencho hoped for getting a better crop that year you know and then why did Lencho say the raindrops were like uh, new coins? Actually, Lencho said that the raindrops were like new coins. Why? Can you tell me? Yes, you are right. Because they were round in shape when raindrops are falling. And uh, you know the scientific reason that the changes, they um, adopt round shape and size. And they are shiny also. So they resemble Lencho as coins okay yes you are right he knew that good rain meant good crop and good rain changes into good hail storm and that ruined the field this is the basic thought of the story this will help you understand and revise during your examination also thank you keep watching me